All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit our goal of 8,000 subs. Thank you guys very much. We're going to be giving away a jersey on our live show here soon. But, guys, we're looking at 9K subs now. We're getting to Thanksgiving time. We're getting to Christmas time. We would love to hit 10Ks by December 22nd, 23rd, somewhere around there, so we can give someone $1,000 for the Christmas gifts. That would be a huge lift off someone's shoulders. So please give us a 10K. We love what we're doing. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, 12K subs after the 10K, we're going to send someone to a game – Probably not the Super Bowl. Don't get don't, don't get any ideas, guys. But we're gonna do our best to send you guys to uh, two people to a couple games uh, of your choice. That's probably not the Super Bowl. But guys, thank you again for all the support. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, to get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Friday, November 10th slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard tray. Start us off. Yeah, I've had a rough stretch so far, but I gotta say I've not given out any bad losers because all mine have been very close and losing on the hook in most of them or within three. So it's been tough. But I gave out Washington minus 11 and a half versus Northern Kentucky. At the moment, it has not started because it is a very late game. We're recording at 9.15 p.m. Central Time, so it has not tipped off. But I have a lot of confidence because it jumped all the way up to now at live tip, minus 14 and a half. So I'm glad I got in there early. Seth? Yeah, and this isn't the game I picked for today, but you guys missed our cover of Canisius, um, so that worked good. But I took St. Mary's. Um, for yes or for yesterday's game at minus five and a half they just started and last I looked they were up by they're up 13 to five so um, good start for them uh, hope they just keep that up and I had the Wichita State Shockers minus six and a half close at seven and a half didn't matter what you got it at I'm putting a win on the board today four and one now they did beat West Kentucky 61 to 71 really good defense performance from them and they outscored West Kentucky by 12 points in the second half. They made some adjustments in the half. They looked really good in the second half, scoring 42 points. So we did get a win on the board there. Let's keep it going today. Trail, how do you start us off with our game picks? Yeah, I'm going to be attacking maybe the best game on the slate. Give me this Texas A&M at Ohio State game. And this game's going to be pretty epic to watch. Both teams <clears throat> have played a game, and they enter it undefeated with perfect 1-0 record. But they have started off their season on different foots, though. And because Texas A&M, they played a home game against Texas A&M Commerce. And they dominated that game 78-46. to 46. So winning that game by 32 points. Meanwhile, Ohio State, they played a home game too against Oakland. And they barely squeaked out of that game, winning it 79-73. to 73. And I expect Ohio State to carry that negative momentum into this game. Give me Texas A&M here, plus one and a half. I absolutely love that I get the Aggies here at plus one and a half. Because in my opinion, they're easily the better team. And if we can get Texas A&M as a better offensive team in any game, that is just an easy win. Because in my opinion, Texas A&M, they are the better scoring team in this matchup. And I said that if we can get Texas A&M as a better scoring option, it's an easy win. Because Texas A&M, they might have the best defense in the entire college basketball. They're easily top five. And they're going to make Ohio State struggle in this game. Because if we look at what Texas A&M did in their previous game against Texas A&M Commerce, they allowed them to only shoot 29% from the field. I expect them to carry that tough defense into this game. So give me Texas A&M here, plus one and a half against Ohio State. I love it, Trey, Seth. Yeah, guys, and I'm going to go to a team I'm very familiar with, and I'm going to take KU. It's big. I know it's big. Minus 34 and a half against Manhattan. But the thing is, a number one ranked team in the country is supposed to cover these big of spreads, and I expect them to do that here. KU looked extremely good in their first game this season, and I look for KU to look good again in this game at home as they are going to use this as a big-time tune-up As on, because next Tuesday they have a top-five matchup against Duke, so they need to be ready for that game. And KU has lived up to the number one hype led by the highly touted center Hunter Dickinson. KU will be getting Manhattan this, in this one who is going to be in over their heads at the field house. They were only able to muster 55 points in their first game, and things are going to be a lot tougher in this game here, going into a ruckus environment against the number one ranked team in the nation. But why I like KU to cover here, and what really impressed me in their last game, was the ability to knock down perimeter jump shots, which I must say is going to be the key to all their success this season, as Hunter Dickinson is going to draw many double teams on the block, so there will be open shoot shooting opportunities. And if they can continue to shoot good, this team will be tough for any team in the nation to beat, let alone this Manhattan team. So I look for KU to handle Manhattan easily in this game at home as they get ready for Duke on Tuesday. Yeah, I like that one as well, Seth. KU dominated in their first game. Uh, for my play today, I'm going to be looking at a Tiger off. Memphis Tigers going up against the Missouri Tigers. 
I'm going to take the Tigers to take over the spread here. The Memphis Tigers to take over the spread. The Memphis Tigers did lose a couple key players last season, but they went in the transfer portal. They got Jaquan Walton, a transfer from Wichita State, who was their leading scorer last season. He's going to make an immediate impact with this team, and he scored 19 points in the opening day game. This is a completely different Memphis Tigers team this season, having nearly all of their starters coming in the transfer portal. They have some big big names here. I mentioned Walton, but they also have Caleb Mills from Florida State, and they brought in Javon Quirley as well from Alabama. So this is a brand-new team. They brought in star talent from big schools to help them rebuild this season. On the other side, the Memphis Tigers only have a couple transfers, and they're bringing back a couple stars that played for them last season. Of the stars they brought back, it's going to be Nick Honor, Sean East II, and Noah Carter, who all played significant minutes last season for Missouri. The problem is that those players only produced single-digit points per game last year, and they're going to be asked to do a lot more this year. The team chemistry with them is going to be great. It's going to be better than Memphis in this game early in the season, but Memphis is full of star talent that has primary scores for their transfer teams. Caleb Mills from Florida State is one of the best point guards in the country, and so was Javon Quinterly at a time at Alabama. Quinterly, not as talented as Caleb Mills, I'd say, but both of those guys running the point is going to be a problem for Missouri. They also brought in Walton to score. He's going to take care of business scoring the ball here. And then they have two big men down low that's going to cause havoc for Missouri as well. I think Memphis wins this game pretty easily, and I also like the over in this game. You're feeling a little bit risky. But my play is going to be the Memphis Tigers. I know they're plus two. I think they win this game outright. But I'm going to take the points to be safe. Give me Memphis Tigers plus two as my play, guys. Let's go with the player props. Trey, start us off. Yeah, at the moment, I am zero for zero. But I did give out Jamal Mashburn Jr. to go over 21 and a half <laughs> PRAs versus St. Mary's. At the moment, he only has three. But the game just relatively did start. So I have a lot of confidence for him to turn it up. I got to say, Nelly Jr. Joseph with Jamal Mashburn at New Mexico. That's kind of scary. Also with J.P. Toppin. So, uh, you know, New Mexico, if they can pull out this win against St. Mary's, they might be a scary team to watch out for. Dude, Nelly Jr. was different last season. He was good last year. Seth? Yeah, and I, I said that in my game pick, Trey. I, I said I think New Mexico can do some damage. I just don't think it was going to be in this game against St. Mary's. But I did take sophomore standout Aiden Mahaney to go over his points. When I was talking to Bear earlier, he said on prize picks it came out at 16, I think, but he said on some sites you could find it at 14 and a half. Um, either way, if you got it at 16, I'm coming <laughs> in the first four minutes of the game. He already had five points, so um, he's going to put in some points big, uh, big yeah. time in this game. Yeah, I think he has 11 right now, so oh, even better. See, I haven't looked at it, but yeah, that, that's even better for us. Yeah, that's that's a that's kids can score with the best of them. He's yeah, oh gosh. Um, I had Colby Rogers of Wichita State. He was supposed to be the primary score. He did shoot 11 times. He had four fouls. He got in foul trouble early. He only played like seven minutes, it felt like, in the second half, and he only took two shots in the second half. He finished with 10 points, but it worked out for Wichita State because I don't think I was going to win the game pick if they didn't find some chemistry. With Rogers off the floor, it seemed like they were doing much better. So I will take the loss on the player props to get the win on the game picks, kind of a one and one wash kind of night. But I'm going to be better today with my player prop picks. Give us some time. Give us a week on these player prop picks. are going to be much better. But guys, get into them today. Trey, start them off. Yeah, I'm going to go with Wade Taylor here to go over his PRAs versus <laughs> Ohio State. I, and like I said earlier in the game picks, I like Texas a and here to win this game. And, and I feel like a big reason is going to be their defense. But on the offensive end, Wade Taylor is their guy. He's a complete dog who makes plays all over the court. And in his first game for Texas A&M, he picked up exactly where he left off last season. That's because last season he averaged 22.9 PRAs. But in his first game, he actually exceeded that because he finished that game with 26 PRAs. And he did that in only 22 minutes. And I expect him to produce in this game because he's going to play a lot more minutes than that going up against Ohio State. And with this game being nationally televised on Peacock, I expect him to show up and show out throughout this game. Taylor's going to be a big reason and might honestly be the reason why Texas A&M wins this game. So give me Wade Taylor to go over his PRAs versus Ohio State. I like it, Trey Seth. Yeah, guys, and I'm going to go back to uh, a, a play and I'm going to go back to something simple that I did earlier this week. And I'm going to simplify it from what I did Earlier this week, earlier in the week, I took Hunter Dickinson over points rebounds. I'm just going to scale this back to Hunter Dickinson over points in this game. Pretty sure it came out at around 17 and a half last week. I'll play this up to 20 and a half because I think he's going to have his way with this Manhattan team. Dickinson is a beast, plain and simple in the paint. And this Manhattan defense is going to have big issues against him. On top of that, Dickinson hit three of he, Dickinson was three of four from three in his first game. And we know this is a player who has always dominated within 10 feet of the basket. So if he can consistently hit his perimeter shots, then we are talking about one of the best players in the nation. Like I mentioned the last time I took this pick, he is the favorite to be the best center in college basketball this season. And if you're going to win that award, you have to dominate against teams you're expected to dominate. 
and I do think he will do that in this game. They're gonna he's gonna have a huge height advantage on them. There's just no way they're gonna keep him off, off the boards for second chance opportunities or just keep him out of the paint or within five feet in general. So I do like Hunter Dickinson to go over his points in this game against a smaller Manhattan team. Yes, I like that one as well. For my player prop, I'm going to take Jaquan Walton to go over his points going up against the Missouri Tigers. This is a guy that the Memphis Tigers will be looking at for their primary score in this game. He's definitely up for the challenge. In his first game with Memphis, he played 28 minutes, scoring 19 points. He shot 63.6% from the field and 75% from three-point range. I mentioned this in the last video as well, but he went 100% from the free throw line, which I love to see in a player when we're taking his over player points. Last season at Wichita State, he had to share the floor with some of the other players, but he still managed to score 14 points per game. This Memphis team does have a lot of good players, but players like Caleb Mills, they are past first players. So I believe Walton will be the primary shooter today. So I'm going to take his over points going up against the Missouri Tigers as my play. Guys, let's take a look at the graphics. Seth, start us off. Yeah, and I am going to take KU at minus 34 and a half. I know it's a big number, guys, but they have a big matchup, matchup with Duke on Tuesday. They need to get ready for that. They need to hit their shots in this game, get prepared for that Duke game. So I do think they'll be able to cover at home. And then I'm going to take KU center Hunter Dickinson over points. Like I said, I'll play this up to 20, 21 and a half. I don't think it'll come out that high, but if it does, then still hammer it. Trey? Yeah, I'm going with the Road Dogs here, Texas A&M, plus one and a half against Ohio State. And that uh, same game parlay here, Wade Taylor over his PRAs versus Ohio State. I feel like Texas A&M, they are the better team, better at defense and can put the ball in the bucket. And at the end of the day, defense is what wins college games. So give me Texas A&M and Wade Taylor. I'm also going with the Road Dog, taking the Memphis Tigers, going up against the Missouri Tigers, plus two, and Jaquan Walton over his points. I think he's going to be the primary shooter in that team today. So, guys, that's going to do it for NCAA Basketball Plays and Props for Friday, November 10th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 